I've been body painting myself several times, that's kind of how I started. But I forget how it is to stand there around and, and see yourself. And I can kind of relive it every time I body paint by watching them go from kind of like reluctance and self-conscious because you know, you're starting off with no clothes and then as you get color and put it on you, it's like you're transformed into another species that's above and beyond. My name is Lisa Shoulder. I'm a part-time body painting artist. I body paint breast cancer survivors. Lisa um, is like a whirlwind train wreck. That's how I um, view every time we go into a paint job with her. The survivors come in nervous because they don't know what to expect. Lisa comes in and just starts to talk to them about their favorite colors or experiences in their life. And then she gets to work and I kind of distract them. I'm Peggy Sherry, I'm the founder of Faces of Courage and the CEO, and we run cancer camps. Well, honestly, I had no idea what I was going to experience, and it, it truly was an experience, I will say that. I lead a support group in the Tampa Bay area, and I see so many women that are really struggling with their body image after fighting cancer, especially fighting breast cancer, and having to go through mastectomies, and having scars that most women around them, they're not bearing those wounds on their body. And so, you know, I went into it with an open mind, and I just had no idea how empowered I was going to feel. I saw myself in a completely different light, and just as a piece of artwork, it was beautiful. I met Lisa about 18 months ago. Peggy Sherry, who's founder of Faces of Courage, invited me to, if I wanted to do um, Bodies of Courage. I said, absolutely. When you go through cancer and everybody's looking and poking and prodding at you, this was a completely different experience because it was something beautiful coming out of it in the end. You know, when we started this project, we had no idea what we were doing. It's just a little art project that grew legs and ran. But what we thought that we were doing was just creating some art, but what we didn't know was that we were changing lives. And subsequently, all 31 of the cancer survivors that we have painted have really had some kind of transformation, whether it's how they viewed their body or whether it was sitting down and just being able to talk and tell their story for a whole day and have someone listen who understands. Um, every single person can tell you that, it, that being painted by Lisa has made a difference in their life. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I started doing some art therapy work, and it's been very healing. And once I got diagnosed with um, another cancer called uh, chondrosarcoma, I've been doing more and more painting. And for me, just to have my own body um, come alive through art and painting, and my scars covered up, and uh, just feel alive from that, um, it's been very healing, very healing process. I body painted my first breast cancer survivor for one month of a calendar that uh, was kind of a, a fundraiser and it's a woman named Catherine and she came down with her husband and it was such a great experience that for three years I looked for someone <laughs> to collaborate with and uh, body paint breast cancer survivors uh, just because once you paint someone they have a different perception of their body. But when I'm painting over scars I guess I'm I'm conscious of, of making sure that one, the paint's going to actually conceal it because typically a design is going to help me conceal it better. And then I've accented scars as well. I think it just depends on the person. There's times when you can accent it and, and it, it's just as beautiful as concealing it. I think anyone who has had any type of cancer has got body issues. They have issues of trauma and drama, and um, I think they, that anyone who's been diagnosed with cancer can benefit from doing a paint job with Lisa. We have given them lasting artwork so that the families have a beautiful portrayal of the dark time in their life. 